Welcome to the Daily Coffee Pro by Mapper Forward Friends. Today on the podcast, I want to do kind of an extended conversation about an episode that we recently did regarding business partners. And we got a lot of feedback about that episode. Mostly people were saying, I wish I had have listened to this episode before I had gone into partnership or gone into business with my business partners. And what can I do to fix things now? Really great question. So I've had a couple of conversations with people and one thing in particular that people were concerned about was that they had not done their due diligence with regards to their business partners. And this is connected into a conversation about finding your lane. So I wanted to have a chat about that and what you can do now to course correct if necessary. So here's where it is an important place to start. First of all, sit down with your business partners and have a conversation about where things really are at. It's important for you to know where things are at for you and it's important for them to hear where things are at for you. It's also important for them to be heard by you. Sitting down, letting them know that things are not ideal is an important place to start. Then the next strategy is, well, how do we get on track? For some people, there's not going to be a way to get on track and an exit strategy is going to be needed. And that's okay, provided that you all get there together. Sometimes business partnerships have to end. But if it is salvageable, this is the way to do it. Figure out what everybody's superpowers are. Some people are going to be great at customer service. Some people are going to be amazing at sales. Others are going to be really great at not being in the limelight and staying behind the scenes, taking care of the admin and the books and dealing with suppliers and inventory and things like that. Find out what everybody's superpowers are and then find a way to delegate the work out into people's lanes. We spoke really clearly in that episode about finding what people's lanes are. But if you haven't gone through the process before the business partnership starts in defining what people's lanes are, it's not too late. When you defined what everybody's lanes are and you've been able to figure out how you associate the work that people can do, then it's time to find where the gaps lie and hire people, employ people to fill those gaps. Because what you find typically in a business partnership where people are feeling that they're not being supported by their other business partners what you find is that one person starts taking on board the majority of the work because they can't trust their business partners and that's not healthy for anyone. Most of the time, the business partners don't know that the person is feeling that such ways because we're not communicating these things and it's oftentimes easier just to do everything ourselves if we're the person who is resp- who feels the sense of responsibility for the business's success perhaps the other business partners are more passive uh, they aren't as popular as you are and as as forward facing with the the community or with the you know your customers so it's important to not harbor all the work for yourself and try and find ways to give people an opportunity to do and be involved in the business because nobody gets into business to do nothing unless they're a silent partner. And even then, they still want to get something out of it. As the business grows, people want to be more and more associated with the success. They want to drive that. 
And so help people get there. And the way that you help them get there is by celebrating their strengths. Find what, as I said, find what their superpowers are, assign them work. And and they're not there to help you. Give them ownership of the thing that you're assigning them. You're not you're not going to say to them, I need you to help me with taking care of sales. No, it's not about that. They're a business owner. They're a partner in this business. So they're not helping you. They are taking ownership. So the way you communicate that is, I'm going to need you to take ownership of the sales part of the business or the customer acquisition plan. It's your superpower and I'm no good at it. And so... I'm going to leave it in your lane. Giving ownership to somebody is important. It's an important part of business ownership because otherwise you're just going to feel like everybody's helping you while you're carrying all the load and that's not what we want from business partnerships. You can learn so much more about this if you want Uh, from our mastermind groups it's something that we heavily focus on or in the one-on-one coaching if it's something that you're interested in check out the show notes we're going to be starting some new mastermind groups in 2021 new one-on-one coaching positions are becoming available in 2021 and we are starting a new coffee entrepreneurs group in 2021 so hit us up check out the show notes. I hope this has been helpful. Peace, love and peanut butter friends. Have an amazing rest of your day.